if you don't know who we are we are retrieving oz we traveled to australia last year and then we brought a house when we got home which you can see on our last video we were renovating it and then we thought it's about time to go on another trip so we got the whole family with us now celebrating nikki's parents 60th birthdays i know jules would hate that i said she's 60 but we're all ready that's the truth that's them on the radio we're ready so to go we're ready to go so stay tuned for this episode all good summary of what's to come um, with our next few episodes we're most likely going to pop this into a part one and so on and so on we are heading to the Fleur Peninsula which I don't know if I've pronounced that correctly then we're doing the York Peninsula and then we are heading inland and doing the Flinders Ranges of South Australia I've only seen photos of Flinders Ranges and it kind of looks like you're in a different planet a bit like Mars I reckon so it'd be interesting to see what it looks like, it'd be cool taking another little thing off the list. And we're going back to some of our favourite spots in Australia, so really keen to show you that. So our first stop, we're on our way there now, is Green Hill Lake Ararat. We've um, eaten all the fruit before we cross the border too. <laughs> so we're heading to a free camp, um, and we'll be sure to get the drone up and show you the, the campsite. Char's going to explain what she's making. I'm making a fishing rod out of a stick and some weed mm. stuff from the lake and we're trying to catch some yabbies. It's pretty clever. Yeah. Are you going to catch a yabby? <laughs> guys it's a bit of a chilly one I'm pretty sure the GoPro is like frozen over um, got a diesel heater and if he doesn't like using it hack for you if you're traveling the next day and you don't want to get your appliances out and make breakfast blah 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 pre-make the GoPro ended up going flat so I missed this but pre-make egg and bacon McMuffins they're so easy to put in the freezer, microwave to defrost, throw them in the air fryer, and they come out better than McDonald's. Breakfast. I've got the world's fussiest eater. Jaxie? Can you take a bite and tell me if it's any good? Yum? Yeah. <laughs> Just a reminder. You cannot take fruit across the border, so if you've got nieces with you, plum? Yes, So we just pulled over for lunch at the Neil BP Roadhouse little house shop there 
And just a reminder, no fruit and veggies, but the lovely lady inside, she just took it all off our hands. So we had potatoes and that, and we thought we might use it, but we didn't. So yeah, just give it to her. She was very happy to have it. So yeah. Better than throwing it out. That's it. Don't waste your food. Where we are now in Victoria, it's about 2.25 and when we get to our next location, it's going to be... Um, 2 o'clock. Why? Because it's in another state from where we are. So the time change is half an hour. Yeah. Bit trippy. Yeah. <laughs> so we just went to what was meant to be our destination for tonight. It was a pub. It has really good reviews um, and you can stay at the back of the pub. And we turned up and the whole town is very how would you say like everything looks broken into smashed yeah, we, car wrecks in everyone's backyards and everything yeah we didn't get the good vibes we were all on our um radios saying to each other like oh i think if we stay here we might not have a caravan or a car in the morning um so just remember always go with your gut feel even if it's something you've booked in just keep going it's not worth um, the stress and the anxiety mm. of staying somewhere where you don't feel safe. And that's the best thing about having your home on wheels, I guess, is you can just move on over to the next place. We've just looked up and there's another place just 15 kilometers up the road, which is $10 a night. So we'll head there now. Do you want to introduce yourselves? I'm Jackson. Who are you to me? Um, nothing. He's my nephew. He forgot. My name's Charlie and I'm her niece. And which one's my favourite? Me. And who are you? Can I introduce you to the camera? Yeah. Now you're hiding? Alrighty. I am Macy. And I'm um, Nikki's yep. daughter. No, <laughs> <laughs> We're going around introducing ourselves. Who are you? Guy Sebastian. And who are you? I'm Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Would you like to actually introduce yourself? Um, technically, I'm James Robert Keithley, but I see myself as Guy Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you got me. I'm Danny Kisley. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's hiding from the camera. Who have we got here? Tag. And me. are you here with your twin brother? <gasps> Should we go and find him? <laughs> All right, let's go. Can I hold a camera? Yeah. <laughs> What's Max. your name? Max, what's your name? Uh. So this this is Auntie Me and she is very beautiful. <laughs> she um she's she can sing, she sings very well. I'll film it so you're both in it. She sings very well. Um, hmm, she's got a caravan, we all know that though. Um, whatever she's drinking right now, she likes that. Um, she's way older than me. Um, it's going well. Do you want to introduce Uncle Craig? Yes. We're introducing you to YouTube. Okay, so this is 
Cuckoo. As you can tell, he's way older than me. Uh, and he's this, the best uncle ever. Yeah, best yeah. uncle ever. Better than Unky? Yeah, way better. And he's turning 39 on his next birthday. Thanks, Cuckoo. Okay, no, he's not. He's not turning 39. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking from our campsite up to the pub. Hey Maxi, can you tell us what you're doing with Uncle Ricky? Fixing, fixing my bike. What do you think of this spot, Rickster? Good, Nat got it. 12.05. And back on the bed of <laughs> Yum. Can you tell me what it is? Waterfall. Oh, cool. to Rapid Bay which is only about a 50 minute drive 
around the other side of the peninsula. Yeah, for now, rapid bait. Woo! What do you all rate this campsite? Nine and a half out of ten. I need a moment. Ten out of ten. Seven. Company, yeah. My only criticism is a, a shower in the toilet would be nice. It's a beautiful spot. Yeah. This is my sister. Hi. Hi. What do you think of this campsite? Are you ready to go full driving? Yes. Look at me. And this is my little man. Are you ready to go full yeah. driving? And this is my other and little man. Hi. And are you ready to go full driving? Yeah. Hi. I'm Ivan. Tell you what I'm cooking. Mm -hmm. So we got the GoPro there. So TikTok strikes again. You would have seen my jelly dessert that I made a couple of episodes ago. Kranskis and prawns, and I just dropped the toothpicks everywhere. Winning. So you, what you got to do is put your toothpick through the Kranski like so. Get your prawn, stick it up the middle like that, up the guts. Stick it like that. Done. What I did is got some barbecue rub and just dust, light dusting over the top of your prawn and kranskis and yeah, first time doing it so it could be not good but we'll find out in about half an hour. Where are you cooking them? On the barbecue. Barbecue for 20 minutes at 180 it says but indirect flame, you don't want it on the grill itself. So remember that. Actually, I'll put my phone torch on for you guys. 
They are looking perfect. I'm gonna take them off and we'll try one in a minute. Oh, am I having that? Yeah, one? you having the first one? Is it cooked? Thanks for it. All right, all right. There's a skew in the middle. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering how to eat it, to be honest. <laughs> Mm. Good. I'd recommend. Very Good. yummy. Yeah. Just, we've got a pay on it. What is it out of ten? No, you're not close to the barbecue, mate. Well, I like both. Go, items, sorry, so go around the other way. I'd say ten out of ten. It's pretty high rating. Ten out of ten, Rick stuff. I'm just telling the kids not to pay. Hide and seek behind the, the barbecue. Dangerous. living thing in the ocean. <laughs> Good job, Moo! Let's have a look at it. Good job. Hold it up. Hold it up. Oh, look at me, new friend. Good job. 